Deb is back. Wait, no way. He actually got his channel back. He's live on Saw right now? Hold up. The B on top. Well, he's, uh, he's on Twitch right now, but... Deb sought. Yes! We fucking did it! Hell yeah. See, see between like, uh, what was it? It's the first one. No, the, there was a there was one by like a small YouTuber that wasn't nude face. He, he was somebody else with like 500 subscribers on YouTube. Now he's like past a thousand because Feb and Crud shared his video. Hello. And it got like 100,000 plus. This is it right here. Dead Pixel. This guy had 500 subscribers a few days ago. Now he has 1.17. Changed up his profile picture, hell yeah. The Pace 22 community, irrespective of whether or not they were involved with the Rocco harassment scandal. On one occasion- But yeah, Noob Face. Noob Face was the one that got reacted to. Most of the, like, YouTubers all reacted to his video, Noob Face, and it got, what, 60,000 on the video, but then there was, like, other YouTubers reacting to it. Summit, Summit 1G. Rare's gone too far. This is, this is the one already rare. kind of shit on, you know? Like, the FPS is already- Got 172k in three days. That's the one that Rare must have paid attention to. Oh shit, you guys can't even see it. There. See that number? That's what got Sea of Thieves' attention right there. Let's talk about Feb. Feb wasn't banned in this original ban wave, but he got banned later, which I'll let him explain why. I was originally banned from Sea of Thieves in August of 2020. I was 15 years old at the time. The previous night, I had stream sniped someone in Arena on an alt account after a petty argument in their Twitch chat. The account was named Rocco22GetBanned, which was relevant to other streamer drama at the time. I was told that I was banned for advertising cheap programs, stream sniping, and showing extremely toxic behavior, and that they'll- Bro, you're a stream sniper, dude. Eee, you can still bring it back, though. That's just SWS. It's just the first phase of the condition. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta bring it back before it turns into SBS, which is fatal, okay? So just- We just gotta cut it. The hell is SBS? Help me with my ban. To explain the advertising cheat programs, at the time, I was being accusated fairly often in arena games, so I thought it would be funny to bait people even harder by putting a fake Sea of Thieves cheats link in my bio. Bro, he was just a troll, he was trolling to around. Cheat client. But I had little understanding at the time of how serious stream- The same reasons, you know what I'm saying? He was just trolling, like, like- Not that big of a deal. We do a bit of trolling. Wait, hold on, hold on. Didn't, Sea of Thieves didn't not like the it. biggest fan so far. But I'm, I'm, I'm still With the same issue. I now understand how irritating and unfair it can be, and I apologize to anyone who had to deal with this from me. For the extremely toxic behavior, I would have to assume that it would have mostly come You're from spawn though, camping, you know? sinking people, or the streamer encounters. I definitely did shit talk on occasion, but nothing deserving of a permanent ban or the label extreme toxicity. What, what was that reaction? What? Okay, strap, strap. Here's the part. Fuck your little sister, dude. Shut up, you coward. coward. Suck my. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. What a it's nice just a server. Bunch of little wall banging. This. Oh. Now the person raging in that clip. They blame was it on LB wall banging Silver, just because they suck. Sea of Thieves partner. Now you're probably thinking, who cares? That was four years ago. You know what else was four years ago? No, I'm not gonna sit on my high horse and pretend like LD is a bad person for this. The only point I'm trying to make here is that it's ridiculous that a saw partner can get away with extreme toxicity scot free, but players that's, like Feb and myself are oh, that was a saw partner. Consequences for some Ooh, bullshit nice from four spot, years ago. Bro. Keep them alive. I want to slay these idiots now. The pirate code. Hey, I stand behind that too. Sometimes you, sometimes you gotta throw the pirate code out the window. It doesn't mean I do it all the time. I'm how long did you have to run for, huh? How many times did you have to- Listen, to be- This was the early days of Sea of Thieves. I don't play like that anymore. But, he probably, you know, these guys probably don't play like they did four years ago either. Hit the wheel all the way left or all the way right, you Every yeah. time you hear a cannon shot, your, your driver's like- Beb doesn't play like he did four years ago either. Like, that, why, why aren't they giving him a break? Beb and Crud, funny guys. Everything else- complaining just awful them and crow pl complain right they're funny when they do it at least they're funny and flat, still complaining flat, right and i'm pissed about it you blunderbussing piece of shit yeah that, i probably should have gotten in trouble for something like that i think that's fine no it's not man oh i'm so triggered it's not fine this guy's having a battle with his own personality. <laughs> because when you run into people like this, how can you resist? Fat. Your mouth is fat. You're so 
I mean, yeah, yeah, then you start, yeah, you start spawning out of them. I do the same thing. Hey, do me a favor. Wrist. I'm gonna find out where you live, and I'm gonna firebomb your basements where you fucking troll ass hang out. Salty. What the hell? Stupid. Bro, how do you have sex at all? <laughs> the the, the, the uh, dolphin sound all. effect, bro. An insult. I reported those last guys, and they only received a temporary ban, by the way. Whether you like it or not, spawn camping is part of the game, and it always has been. That's why there's an option to scuttle, and it even tells you when you're on the ferry that you can scuttle. It's a big result of the freedom that we give players and how these mechanics work in our shared world. So our solution for launch was the scuttle mechanic. Anyone who knows how to shoot straight has done it before, but <laughs> if you spawn camp the wrong person, guys. you might get a ban for it. Unless you're a Sea of Thieves partner, of course. Give them an opportunity. Wait, what? Really? Camped grown ass, but you're not a sub partner. What the fuck? Well, I don't, I don't agree with his man. Debs, Debs has more gray area, but uh, this guy's. Uh... Dude, that's ridiculous. Don't give him any more screen time, guys. In the four years since then, the Sea of Thieves support team Ugh. has not gotten any better because just a couple weeks ago, this happened again to a player named Rui Holt. But don't worry, there's more. Oh, yeah. One of my friends got permanently banned for ban evasion when he had never been banned before. And Yo, did not they even put Rui in the video. Theb made a YouTube video out of his VOD from fighting the cheater, exposing Rare for their petty vendetta against Don't him. So they decided it. to take it 10 steps further and copyright strike 12 of his videos, which led to his entire YouTube channel being permanently deleted. And now, here we are. There are tons of videos on YouTube of people full on cheating in this game, yet they decided that Theb's channel needed to go first, when he has probably brought more people to Sea of Thieves than most of the Saw partners combined. Now, this whole situation got a lot of attention on Twitter, and any Sea of Thieves related post would have a ton of replies of people calling out Rare yeah! and showing support. Yeah! Yo, my memes! It doesn't look like, like, Thebs and Noobface's situations are different. Like, Noobface should have no issues, right? Realistically, he shouldn't, even though he does, right? Um, and Feb, Feb's different because he was banned for real reasons, right? And then continued to play, so they can always say that it's actual ban evasion. But with Noobface, he wasn't banned for real reasons, right? He was banned for kind of shit reasons. Damn, man, that's sheesh. At the beginning of that video, I was kind of like... No, not true. Feb was banned for shit reasons, too. Um, yeah, like, one of the reasons was putting a link in his Twitch description, which that has nothing to do with the content or anything. Like, it's just putting a link in the Twitch description that leads to... It says Sea of Thieves cheats, but it leads to, leads to a Minecraft cheat. And, and it shouldn't be a permanent ban. There should be, a like, a year ban or something, and you get your account back. You know, like, something around those lines would be a lot better. I'm guessing that every single Feb video stacked together, I've only seen like 100,000. This is the most views I've seen on a, like a Feb defense video on the situation. And stack them all together, it's like, what? 500K views? You're the Sea of Thieves channel? 40K. 20K. 108k yeah so yeah this definitely got their fucking attention holy shit 23k on the official sea of thieves channel they're not even and they have 600,000 that's how much their audience doesn't give a shit like get rid of this sea of thieves you want my advice get rid of this change that because that's confusing to to new players not everybody knows or cares about this you know like, what, what is this? This doesn't represent the pirate brand. I don't know what the fuck they're trying to push agenda-wise, but it shouldn't be in the game. It shouldn't be a thing. And I know that's their decision. It's their decision to do what they want with. But this does not match this or any of this. Like, none of these thumbnails. But, like, make, you have so many good logos. Like, just change it to the green one, you know? Bring back the good old logo. What the hell is this? Stop it. Get some help. So Hold the up. way I got it back, I just went to the YouTube copyright kind of whatever system. And if Rare doesn't provide evidence that they've copy striked my channel, then I just get it back and that's what happened. 
Like, they have to provide proof that they actually have copyright on the content, which they don't, because Microsoft owns it, Microsoft is the one distributing it, and Microsoft gives him all the permissions to have it. Boom. This is, this is the, this is the, uh, Bear Call Saul ending. Play, play the Bear Call Saul song. Like and subscribe. I'm out. How do you get banned for toxicity in a literal pirate game? That is the biggest argument on Sea of Thieves. Anyway, Deb is unbanned. Huge W. Everybody go check out his channel. Or it was like a foot from the screen. Uh, <laughs> I like my big advice.